As they're driving down the main road, they're going to start to notice construction signs, and that leads them into the air terminal building. They would enter the parking lots the same way they normally would. They'll see some construction trailers and, and uh, so on on the right-hand side. And uh, immediately as they're driving in, they're going to notice the construction site right in front of them. Uh, there's gates and fences and signs directing them where to go. And they'll notice the building's basically torn apart. <laughs> so that's the first thing they see when they're coming in. And I suggest that all passengers check out expansion.yfcfredericton.ca. This project it will grow the building by about 50% and completely renovate all the public spaces within the building. We're currently in phase one of a three-phased project. Most of the demolition for phase 1A is completed. Uh, a lot of the preparation and foundations are done for the expansion of the building. And as you can see behind me, the civil work is, is ongoing and progressing nicely for drainage and uh, new airplane parking positions. Phase 1A will be completed in January of 2020 and the project is expected to be a two-year duration. I've been very pleased with how the passengers and tenants have reacted and embraced the project as part of uh, uh, the construction. It is an interference to their day-to-day -day activities. It's been uh, great to see them support the construction throughout this process. You know, personally, I've been on this project for many years now. It brings me so much joy to see the project come to fruition, not just for myself, but for the community in general. Uh, the airports needed this project for a number of years because of the passenger growth, and the community also needs this project. Uh, a healthy airport shows the signs of a healthy community, and that's what we're seeing here in Fredericton.